Welcome. My name is John Morrissey, and I present the living story at the heart of sovereignty, the story of the Holy Grail in Avalon, according to Archangel Michael. For me to introduce Archangel Michael and share the story of the Holy Grail in Avalon, it requires a background story that our ego minds are not equipped to comprehend. It is a story for your heart, for only through the heart can our souls be known, as only the soul knows who we are and where we are from. To reveal the mysteries of the Holy Grail, we must visualize a living creation story of our universe, so we can awaken to our souls within. So please, quiet your mind and bring your awareness to your heart. See the heart of love of God when he was alone in his universe as a circle before you. Then was breathed from that heart, Josias, the soul of Josias being the top portion of the very heart of his father. The severing of the top portion of the heart of God left a gap, and the severed ends folded inwards. Thus was formed the shape of our hearts. Think of the atom within the atom, and the core of the great atom of the heart of God is Josias. See revolutions, vibrations and whirling atoms, one within the other, as a living mass of living silver. The great revolving mass of atoms, and the great androgynous form of brilliance and beauty, which is impossible for our ego minds to grasp. That is God. Josias, who escaped from that great heart of God, is the very substance of the Father, is the same vibration of God, and the same atomic structure. Through the breaking of the circle of God's heart came Josias, and with him a great force. The overabundance of the vitality of the Godhead, electricity. God cannot be contained within himself. From him escapes the ever-forming atoms, and in that escape we receive electricity. Now see, manifesting from the being of Josias, eleven other circles. These are the solar rays of God's heart. The rays are presided over by solar lords. They are high spirit beings whose androgynous solar bodies are the same atomic structure as the silvery essence of Josias. In the center of the circle of twelve is the solar logos, the great cosmic messenger of God. He receives God's commands, then proceeds to get in touch with one or all of the solar lords, who then direct the ray energies to the birthing and evolving of the planets and all forms of life in the universe. This is the round table of God's heart, where twelve solar lords sit, as is knights of the living word. Now come into your own heart. In the right atrium of your heart is the spark of electricity that causes your heart to beat. It is the same electricity that came forth in the birth of Josias from the heart of God. In the left ventricle of your heart is the circlet of your soul. It is where who you are in essence connects with your body. Know that your soul was birthed into this universe by the loving breath of God, and that you are a child of God. We are all sons in the Trinity consciousness of our Mother Father Creator. In our story of the Holy Grail, we shall meet four of the solar lords. Lord Josias, whom the Church named Jesus, his true name being Yeshua, and by this name we shall meet him in our story. His silver ray is the first ray of life and love that holds all God essences. He is the light of the world and the most potent force in the universe, atrium or radium as we know it. Without this energy there is no life to live. Lord Franchala, known to us as Archangel Gabriel, 
His scarlet ray is the fourth ray of mysticism and the language of the eternal God. It is through this ray that the mystic path opens and spirit messages are delivered to mankind. Lord Ahura, known to us as King Arthur, his amethyst ray is the seventh ray of sweetness and perfume. It is the fragrant blossom that develops in us the qualities of gentle character, kindliness and purity. Lord Mikkel, known to us as Archangel Michael, his lapis blue ray is the twelfth ray of power and rulership. He is the messenger of the infinite and guardian of the earth plane. His ray is interblended with the silver ray of Josias, and they draw their very substance one from the other. For where there is love, there is God's power and rulership. It is with the words of Lord Mikhail that I share this story with you.